BlackBerry accused of inflating shares with false claims. Bloomberg. Bloomberg.com. Businessweek.com. Bloomberg TV. Premium. Professional products. Bloomberg Anywhere. Bloomberg Trade Book. Industry products. Bloomberg Briefs. Bloomberg Government. Bloomberg Law. Bloomberg BNA. Bloomberg New Energy Finance. Bloomberg Sports. Enterprise Products Enterprise Solutions Trading Solutions This site uses cookies By continuing to browse the site you are agreeing to our use of cookies X Market Snapshot US Europe Asia Ticker Volume Price Price Delta DJI 8 15072.60 plus 76.10.0.51% S&P page 501690 plus 11.840.71% Nasdaq 3807.75 plus 33.410.89% Ticker Volume Price Price Delta S0XX 52928.31 plus 26.19.0.51% S&P Page 106,453 4.84.08% DAX 8622.97 plus 25.060.29% Ticker Volume Price Price Delta Nikkei 14,024.30 Negative 132.94 Negative 0.94% Hang Seng 23,138.50 Negative 75.86 Negative 0.33% SM Page Slash ASX 205,208.02 Negative 26.87 Negative 0.51% Bloomberg Our Company Professional Anywhere. Home. Quick. News. Opinion. Markup data. Personal finance. Tech. Politics. Sustainability. Luxury. TV. Video. Radio. U.S. Shutdown enters first weekend as neither side budgets. 202. Why Patagonia tells customers its coats are toxic. Exploding fuel tankers driving U.S. Army to solar power. Signs felt pledges to help make accurate master. Mahler, a rod suit swings for bleachers of rage. 205. The sexy. Dollars 50k Alfa Romeo that may never get made. Blackberry accused of inflating shares with false claims. By Patricia Hurtado. 2013 105T0 for 01,01Z. Stock chart for Blackberry Limited BB. BlackBerry BB Limited and two executives were sued by an investor who alleges they artificially inflated the company's stock through false and misleading statements about the smartphone maker's success and prospects. Marvin Perlstein, an investor, alleges in a proposed class action or group suit filed yesterday in federal court in Manhattan that BlackBerry Chief Executive Officer Torsten Heinz and Chief Financial Officer Brighton B. Dalka engaged in a scheme to deceive investors about the company's health and prospects for the BlackBerry 10 product line of smartphones. According to the suit, BlackBerry made false and misleading statements in a September 27, 2012, press release when it claimed the new phone would drive improvements across the company. On a conference call that day with investors, Times allegedly made statements that BlackBerry continues to be a financially strong company and we are executing and delivering on our commitments, and that it remains a strong, innovative and relevant player in the mobile computing world. The company was not on the road to recovery and re-emerging as a lead player in the wireless communications industry, the plaintiff said in the complaint. In reality, the BlackBerry 10 was not well received by the market and the company was forced to write down a nearly $1 billion charge related to unsold BlackBerry 10 devices and lay off approximately 4,500 employees, totaling approximately 40% of its total workforce, according to the complaint. Adam Emery, a spokesman for Waterloo, Ontario-based BlackBerry, declined to comment on the lawsuit. Shares inflated. The price of the company's stock was inflated through a series of misleading statements and information, Pearlstein alleges. Once the truth was disclosed, the company's share price fell, he said. BlackBerry fell 16% in trading in Toronto on September 20. The suit seeks to include as plaintiffs shareholders who suffered unspecified damages after buying BlackBerry common stock from September 27, 2012, until September 20. It also alleges 